Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be my reading plans for the month of August. So I have some very loose plans, I have some very definite plans, I have some very loose plans for the month of August. Um, I haven't really pinned down exactly what I want to read, um, I just have a couple of things that I want to continue. Uh, and as always I have my book club picks to read. So I'll start off with the book club picks. The Just One More Page book club, our prompt for the month of August was the word island, so we had to pick a book with the word island in the title. Uh, we went for, and I can't remember whether it's the invisible or the missing husband of Frick Island. Uh, this is about a group of islanders, um, a woman uh, whose husband goes missing while at sea, um, but she continues to live as though he hasn't disappeared and the town um, on the island they decide to indulge that and they go along with it um, and I think some outsiders might actually come to the island and obviously experience what's happening here and it sounds all a little bit bizarre um, but yes, uh, because of the bizarreness, it actually sounded quite interesting, which is why I voted for it. So I am quite looking forward to picking this one up this month. The book club pick for Cliture Club this month is The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is about um, a group of billionaires, or the series is about a group of billionaires and how they find and fall in love. Um, and this book is about Rowan and Zara. Rowan hires Zara to help with renovation of um, what I think is kind of a Disneyland type place. I'm not 100% certain on that. Um, but yes, they share a kiss and everything goes from there. So again, looking forward to picking it up. Um, not sure what the level of steaminess is likely to be in this. Hopefully a bit more than we've had in a couple of our most recent books. Um, but yes, I uh, thoroughly looking forward to a romance read this month. The only other book that I absolutely have to read in the month of August is one of my most anticipated books of the year and that is Let Me Love You by Scarlett Cole. This is the fifth and final book in her Sad Friday series uh, which is a series about a group of rock stars from Manchester in England and how they've been meeting and falling in love with their happy ever afters. Uh, this is Ben and Chaya's story. Ben and Chaya have been in the background of the previous four books all the way through um, and we have just been waiting for them to realise that they're going to get together. In this book, however, it starts out that Chaya has decided that she can't wait around for Ben to realise that they are supposed to be together any longer and yeah, she goes off and she's engaged to someone else and then Ben realises exactly what he's walked away from and it's about where they go from there. Uh, I've read some excerpts of this from Scarlett Cole um, on her social media and in a newsletter she sent out and this book's already broken me. Um, it comes out right at the end of August and I just know that I am going to be counting down the days now. It's actually the 1st of August. It's 29 days until I get my hands on this book. This book has broken me already, as I said. Um, uh, there are a few of the quotes that uh, she has put out there that I really highly identify with. So, yes, um, this is going to be an emotional read for me. Um, but definitely one of my most anticipated reads of this year so I cannot wait to get to the end of the month to pick it up. If you saw my July TBR then you know that Ruin by John Gwynn was very definitely on the TBR for that month um, and I haven't finished it. Uh, I have been listening to it on audio um, but there's just been a few changes that um, have happened which kind of put a hold on me listening to uh, reading, listening to books while I was driving to work. Um, so Ruin has been put on hold for the last couple of weeks. Um, but I've got those things sorted out now and I'm hoping that from this week I can get started and start listening to it again. So my aim 
um, is to continue listening to Ruin on audio um, and definitely going to be finishing it. I'm about 32 to 34 chapters in. Um, so yeah, so quite handily, um, I am about that far in. I'm trying to do this without bending the spine. Um, so yeah, I'm, I am really enjoying this one. I can't really talk about what it's about. It is the third book in John Gwynne's Faithful and the Fallen series. It's about Corbin and Nathair, who are, um, two sides of a war. Um, and yeah. This is continuing the story and in this one particularly um, we're spending a lot of time with Corbin and the people surrounding Corbin so we're learning more about him and what's um, how he is who he is uh, and I won't say any more than that because anything else would be a spoiler. The next book is one that you would be expecting to see if you've seen my book haul recently and that book is Heartstopper Volume 2 by Alice Oseman. I read Volume 1 in June and absolutely loved it. Uh, I had fully intended to get to this in July and I didn't quite get to it. Um, other things got in the way that I needed to finish and I was focusing on series that um, have been sat on my TBR for quite some time. This is continuing Nick and Charlie's story. Nick and Charlie are two uh, boys at school uh, and they, Charlie knows that he is gay and Nick is coming to the realisation that he likes Charlie as more than just a friend. Um, and it's where their relationship goes from here now that things have started happening and really looking forward to picking it up, really looking forward to continuing their story. I just absolutely fell in love with volume one and yeah I know that I'm pretty much going to have to go and buy volume three as soon as I finish this one. It's very much on my radar, very much have I been thinking about reading it the last couple of days so I'm probably going to get to it if not this evening then definitely one day this week. Other than those books I have no real plans for the month. Other than I was thinking of continuing on, as I was doing in July, continuing on with a series that I've already started. A book from a series that has very much been increasingly calling me recently is Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan. This is book six of the Wheel of Time series. I actually picked it up to start it earlier on this year. Um, I think back in March maybe, March, April time. I read 20 pages, that's why there's a bookmark in it and then I put it down. This book is, I can't really tell you anything about it, I think it follows more the Aes Sedai rather than um, Matt or um, any of the other main characters whose names are escaping me right now, Fail. Uh, yeah definitely names are escaping me right now, I do know them all. I. I've read most of this series before. Some of what's putting me off is I know that this is the start of the set in the series that are commonly referred to by uh, Wheel of Time fans as the slog. And I know that I got bogged down by the slog myself when I read them the first time around. In fact, it was the slog that stopped me reading any further than book nine. So, but this book has been down beside my bed since I picked it up and read the first 20 pages and increasingly during the month of July especially as I've been thinking about the series that I've been reading and how I want to make progress and especially as um, earlier on this year I finished finally finished reading the Robin Hobb series Realm of the Elderlings this is another big meaty chunky series that I have um, part way through and it's time to start making progress with it again. And I can't really talk about what this book's about. Um, I don't remember a lot, to be honest. Uh, it was getting on for, well, when was this book released? When was it first released? That will help. So, copyright page, anybody? So, copyright on this book, it was first published in 1994. 
Now I know I wasn't reading these in the mid 90s. I came to these in the mid two in the early 2000s. So it is definitely 20 years since I read this book. And yeah. Um I need to get on with it. It is a chunker. It is one of the biggest books that is on my shelf. It's almost a thousand pages. And yeah, I need to get on with it. So it has been calling to me, like I say, I think it's just because it's because I've been thinking about reading series um recently that yeah, I've I've definitely got to get on and even if I don't read this one, I think like Ruin, I just need to make, get a bit more progress through it um, rather than, you know, leaving it languishing at 20 pages read. Because I want to know how this series ends. I really do. I want to get to the end of book nine. I want to get to book ten. I want to move forward with this series. So, yes, d I'm going to try and make some more progress with this one this month. Again, other than that, I'm just thinking about um, books series that I've got in progress. Uh, this little purple notebook up here. Um, I have in there listed all of the series that I have started and all of the series I have yet to start with the number of books that are in each series and I have coloured in um, how many books from each series I've read. And what I've decided to do is that each month I'm going to allocate a different colour to that month and as I read a book in the series, I'm going to colour it in. Just as a kind of visual aid to keeping track of series. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, July, uh, you'll you'll find this in my wrap up. Um, but in July, I did kind of concentrate on book se series where I only had one book left to either complete the series or bring it up to date with as far as it's been written. And I'm thinking that maybe for August, I'm going to continue in that vein, but I'm going to maybe look at series where I have two or more books left. Um, I'm also going to concentrate on series that are available in Kindle Unlimited because I had a six month uh, subscription to Kindle Unlimited for an introductory price and I'm going to try and make full use of that as much as I possibly can. So. I'm going to do a bit more um, investigating, I'm going to do a bit more marking off in that notebook just to, to so that I can identify which ones are readily available in Kindle Unlimited and see if I can make some more progress, even if it's just knocking one book in a series off or whether I'll try and finish series um, or bring series up to date, especially for the ones where I've maybe only got two left or three and they're romances because I know I can breeze through those. So yeah, so that otherwise is the only plan that I really have for reading this month. Um, just in case anybody's wondering, you won't have seen it in a video before, some of my books have tags on them now. Uh, the green tags are books that I own that I have never read before. Yellow tags are books that I own that I have read previously but want to reread. Um, and haven't reread in this particular copy. Um, so just so you were wondering what that was all about and why some have got them on and why some don't. Um, I'm not ready to reread The Realm of the Eld Elderlings anytime soon. Um, but yes, so I do have a few of those identified and a couple of those are series as well. So that might help me with um, identifying series that I need to get on with too. So yes, so I just thought I would put that out there as well. Uh, rambling a little bit now, Lynette. Anyway, those are my plans for the month of August. Uh, if you haven't already put up a TBR, if you don't put TBRs up on um, YouTube, what are you planning on reading? Let me know in the comments box. Yeah, leave me a link to your video if you've put one up. I really enjoy finding new people to subscribe to. Uh, and I've been doing that a lot recently. I've been subscribing to a lot of new people and enjoying new content. Um, and I hope as well that um, I continue finding new people finding me. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do give it a like. And if you've not already, then subscribe. As I said, love getting new subscribers and I've had quite a little flurry recently. If you didn't already know, I put videos up at 6.30 p.m. UK time every single Monday and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.
Bye.